Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today's an exciting day. So iOS 14 was just released to the public. I've been using the beta for a couple of months now. And for those of you who don't know what the new update brings, this is the video for you. I'm gonna be taking you through the top 10 things to do first when installing iOS 14. Let's get into it. So the first one we're going to be talking about, and really the first couple that we're going to talk about, has to do with the home screen. iOS 14 has totally updated their home screen to remove the clutter and really refine the operating system. And that all starts with removing the home pages that you don't need. If you press and hold on the dots at the bottom of the home page, you'll get to see a list of all of your pages. Uncheck the ones you don't want, and they'll be removed from layout. Any of the apps that are now gone from your home screen are hid in the app library. Now, because you have the app library, you don't really need to have all of these home pages, and it really eliminates the need to have a lot of your apps across the home screen. So if you want to remove individual apps from a home screen, you can press and hold and hit the X as if you were going to delete the app. From there, you have the option of deleting the app entirely or just adding it to your app library, in which case it removes it from the home screen. So number three is actually a pretty exciting one, and that's widgets. So there's going to be options available from third parties, but right to boot, you're going to have a bunch of widgets to choose from, all in varying sizes from two by two, all the way out to four by four. If you press and hold on an app, you're now going to see a plus button in the top left corner of your phone. If you press that, you're going to open the widget tray. After that, you can really just select the widgets that you want to use. I myself prefer two by two, as I feel it gives enough info while not taking up that much room on my home screen. Click on the widget and it'll just add to your home screen and icons will move out of the way. So continuing with point three about widgets, you can also set up a smart stack. So Apple introduced this as a way to give you a bunch of widgets stacked on top of each other and they'll automatically rotate based on time of day and which apps it thinks you'll use. If you press and edit a smart stack, you're able to turn off that smart rotation, in which case you can select what's shown regularly. As well, there's also a featured photos widget, and in that widget, you can control which photos go into it. If you click the share sheet, you're going to be able to remove featured photos from the gallery. So number four is to stop apps from downloading directly to your home screen. Now that we have App Library, there's really no need to have your home screens cluttered with a bunch of different apps, so you can stop that from happening instantly. If you go into settings and you go down to home screen, you can select whether you want apps to add to the home screen or app library only. So next up, we've got pinned chats and messages. So if you open the messages app, now you have the option of moving your messages up to the top in a bubble. You can just press and hold on the conversation and hit pin chat. This is by far one of my favorite visual effects that iOS 14 brings into play. It looks a lot nicer and it makes it so much easier to just click into the messages that you want. Number six is wind down. So this is a feature that I was actually probably least excited for when it was announced, but after giving it some time, I've found that this is something that I'm using quite regularly and I actually sort of depend on it. So what it's going to do is it's going to limit notifications to your lock screen, automatically set do not disturb for you so you're not getting a bunch of messages popping up when you're trying to rest and it's also going to notify you when you're getting close to that time you want to be going to sleep. In order to set it up, open your health app, hit browse, go down to sleep and from there you'll have the option to adjust the time you're going to bed, adjust the time you're waking up, as well as other features like adjusting the volume and the alarm you want to wake you up. Number seven is in the Photos app, and you're able to zoom a lot further than we could before. Now, I haven't found this particularly useful, but it does highlight the possibility that maybe future generations of iPhone are gonna have a significantly better megapixel camera, a lot more clarity, and it'll really take full advantage of that ability to zoom in further, fingers crossed. So next we have 4K video. This is something you can take advantage of through Safari by default or by YouTube if you adjust it. This is something we've been waiting on for a very long time and it's finally here, so be sure to take advantage of that when you're watching these videos. Next, we've got picture-in-picture -picture video. This is gonna work for videos in Safari as well as for FaceTime videos if you're on a call. It doesn't yet work on the YouTube app, however, apparently they are working on that, so that could be coming soon, but it's actually a really great way to watch videos and multitask and do other things at the same time. As a workaround for YouTube, if you open in Safari, make it full screen, then you can swipe and it'll still work for you. It just won't work in the YouTube app as of yet. And finally, we've got the volume buttons when you're recording. So previously you could hit a volume button and it would take a photo. Now, if you press and hold, you're actually able to record a video without using your touch screen. All right guys, so that is my top 10 things to do when you first download iOS 14. Of course, there's a bunch of other things that I haven't covered yet. So let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. Is there something I left out of this video that you're gonna be doing first? 
something else that you're excited about? Let me know all of that below in the comments. As well, remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.